Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some tips that you can use on your timeline while you are working in Adobe Premiere Pro and that will tremendously help you to speed up your workflow. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first one is copy and pasting. When you are working on a project on your timeline, you need to copy and paste a lot. So suppose this is a huge timeline, right? Just assume that. So here I need to copy this clip and I have to paste this clip here right so what i can do i can just select that clip and press ctrl or command on my keyboard and then press c and then if i go there and then if i press ctrl or command plus v it will paste the clip there but here what happened it has replaced the clip right it has overread the clip but i don't want that i want to paste the clip on that position and i want to move all the clips forward how we can do that so just press Control or command c to copy and then go there and if you press Control or command plus shift and then press v it will paste the clip there and it will move all the clips in the right side right and again if i show you if i press Control or command plus shift and then press v here is the clip so that is the first one if you want to paste the clip and if you don't want to Override the clip, just press Ctrl or Command plus Shift and then press V. The next one is changing the track. Suppose here is a clip on my V2 track and I want to change that track to V3. How I can do that? If I just click and drag it, I can change the track. But you can see the clip is not staying on the same position. So if you want to change the track and if you want to keep the same position of your clip. So what you can do when you are changing the track, if I change the track and then if I press shift on my keyboard, it will change the track, but it will lock the position of that clip, right? You can see it is straight just going to the V3 track. I can then release and it will stay there. So that is the second one, changing the track without moving the clip. Now the number three. If you want to go to the next track, you can just press up or down arrow on your keyboard, right? You can change that because this track is on V2 track. So if you want to go to this track, what you can do, you can just enable this track targeting option. You can just enable V2 track and then if you press up and down key, it will select this track also. Suppose you don't want to enable V2 or V3 track targeting every single time. What you can do? So when you are pressing up and down arrow you can press shift then it will temporarily enable track targeting for all tracks so if you just press up and down arrow it will stop on every single clip so very easy if you are using keyboard to navigate through your timeline you can use these tips the next one is using crop effect we have to use crop effect a lot so if i go to effects panel and there if i just click and drag this crop effect here on this clip i can select the crop and then I can just change the crop from left, maybe this much, then right, maybe this much, right? So you can change the crop from here. But do you know, you can actually change the cropping from the preview panel, from the program panel. What you can do, you can just select the crop and then here you'll see some points, right? You can just click and drag these points to crop the video or image whatever it is and if you want to maintain the aspect ratio while you are cropping what you can do you can just select a corner and then you can just click and drag to crop it and if you press shift on your keyboard you'll see it will lock the aspect ratio no matter how hard you try it will not mess up with the aspect ratio so if you want to maintain the aspect ratio press shift on your keyboard if you don't want to maintain the aspect ratio you can just release the shift and you can freely crop this effect right and again there is a tip which is when you are just clicking and dragging this section you can crop it manually but it is cropping so fast but if you want to have very fine tune when you are cropping you can press ctrl or command on your keyboard then if you click and drag it will crop very slowly so you can find adjust the crop and again while you are cropping if you press shift it will crop very fast this is the normal this is the very fast and this is the fine tune so from the next time when you are cropping make sure to use these tips now the number five which is nudging clip so sometimes you need to change the position of your clips by one frame or two frame what you can do you can just zoom into your timeline and then you can try hard to go one or two frame right simply select the clip and then press ctrl or command on your keyboard and then if you press right key or left arrow key it will change the position by one frame suppose you need to change the position by five frame you can press ctrl or command and shift and then if you press left key or right arrow key it will change the position by five frames right so that is a very easy way 
to notch the clip on your timeline using the keyboard. So that is the five tips for today that you can try when you are working in Adobe Premiere Pro to speed up your workflow. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video and learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. If you know this channel want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.